In this question, we're gonna solve this dosage calculation using dimensional analysis. The nurse has reviewed the medication for the client and has an order to administer alprazolam 2.25 milligrams a day in three divided doses. How many tablets per dose does the nurse expect to administer? So the first step when we are setting up for dimensional analysis is to look at what we know and what we have on hand. So I have this medication label that's showing me my tablets are 0.5 milligrams each. I also have an order for 2.2 five milligrams per day, and I'm giving that in three divided doses. So I can take any of those and set them up to the left of my equation. So I'm going to put 2.25 milligrams per day. Now, the next thing we have to do is ask ourselves, what are we trying to find out? What are we trying to solve for? And that can be found to the right of the answer choice. And we're trying to find out how many tabs per dose we are going to give this client. Our next step is to set up the middle. So I always check off as I go. So I've already entered this into the equation and I've entered my tablets into the equation. So next I can take my 0.5 milligrams per tablet and enter that, but I need to see what I need to cancel out so I know where to put the milligrams on the top or the bottom. So I need my milligrams to cancel out so that I'm left with tabs per dose. So I'm going to put 0.5 milligrams here at the bottom and one tab at the top. So per one tab, it's 0.5 milligrams. This will allow my milligrams to cross out. So now that I've entered the 0.5 milligrams per tablet, I see that I'd be left with tablets per day, which is not quite where I'm trying to get, right? We want to get tablets per dose. So I can enter my three divided doses in here. So I need days to cancel out. So I'll be left with tabs per dose, right? So in one day, the client gets three divided doses. This is going to allow my days to cross off and I'll be left with tablets per dose. Okay, so let's do our next step, which is going to be to multiply across. So you're going to take your 2.25 times 1 times 1. And what did you get? 2.25, right? Next, we're going to multiply it across the bottom. So we have our one day and we're going to do 1 times 0.5 times 3. And what did you get there? 1.5, right? So next we can divide. So we do 2.25 divided by 1.5 and you should get 1.5 tablets. Now our last step is to always verify. So you can see, does this make sense? And then we also want to check what we need to do for rounding. Here we see that we are recording our answer using one decimal place, which is exactly what we have here. So no need to round. Let's check our answer. We see that we're correct. If you liked this dosage calculation problem and want some more challenging ones or to get some more help, please join us for our next webinar you can find the information in the comments. We'll break down the steps for dosage calc. We'll look at dimensional analysis and ratio proportion. I hope to see you there.